Hi friends! This is Charity from Group Publishing. I am so excited to keep exploring how Jesus' power pulls us through. Because today, we are going to talk about something really cool. Jesus' power brings hope. And do you know what can keep our eyes on hope? God sightings. Now, last time, I asked you to keep an eye out for where God is working in the world and in your life. Well, I did that too. And here's a quick God sighting that I'd like to share with you. I was walking in my neighborhood yesterday and I was wearing a bandana mask on my face. Now, I passed a neighbor who was out walking his dog and he had a mask on too. So, I couldn't see his smile, and he couldn't see my smile, but we waved really big and shouted, hello. <laughs> his kindness reminded me of God's kindness, and there's nothing, not even a mask, that can separate us from God's love. So that's me, but I'd love for you to share your God sightings too. How about you take turns talking, and when you finish, start this video back up, and I will wait for you with my pause sign. God is at work, friends. Sometimes we just have to look for it. You know, I found a cheery neighbor, but I've also noticed some angry ones. Seems like there are a lot of angry and frustrated people right now. I don't, maybe that's true where you live too? Some grown-ups are angry that they can't go to work and earn money to care for themselves and their families. And kids, <laughs> they're frustrated because they can't get together with friends or play sports or even go to school. And if you've been cooped up with your family for a few weeks, maybe things are a little tense at home too. <laughs> well, let's talk about that. Here's a question for your family to discuss together. What has made you angry, frustrated, or tense during the coronavirus situation? Now, I'll put the question on the screen, so you pause and take a few minutes to discuss it. Go ahead. Thanks, friends. It can really help to talk about our feelings. You know, when you're stuck or disappointed, it's easy to become frustrated and angry. And that's okay. You feel what you feel. But it's what you do when you're frustrated or angry that can really turn things around. So, everyone, up on your feet. Come on, everybody up. It is time to shake and shimmy some of those blues away as we join some friends who have figured out what to do when they're facing hard times. Let's sing together. Woke up this morning feeling kind of blue. A little sad, but I know just what to do. Whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh. I have learned that I can go to Jesus. He lifts me up whenever I need it. Whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh. When I'm worried, when I'm feeling down, that's when God comes through, turns it all around. Yeah, He gives me joy. Every situation keeps my spirit.
it all around Yeah, he gives me joy in every situation Keeps my spirits high no matter what I'm facing Uh-oh, oh, oh. <laughs> No matter what we are facing, we can always turn to God That's what I want, but friends Sometimes that's not how I feel, and I'm not alone. Let me tell you about some friends of Jesus, Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. You can find their true story in the Bible book of John chapter 11. Lazarus, he got sick. And his sisters, Mary and Martha, they knew that Jesus' power brings hope. So they hoped that Jesus could heal him. They sent a messenger to find Jesus in a nearby city, and they took care of Lazarus while they waited for Jesus to arrive. But day after day, Lazarus grew weaker and Jesus didn't come. Mary and Martha couldn't understand why. Jesus, he loved Lazarus, and they knew that Jesus could help. So, where was he? I think they felt that, wait, I'll show you. So when I count to three, I want you to take a deep breath and hold it. And then I'll let you know when it's okay to breathe again. Ready? Deep breath. One, two, three. Keep holding your breath. I'll keep going. So I think that Mary and Martha were standing by the door, maybe looking up the road, expecting that any moment Jesus would appear and he'd make everything right again. But um, just a moment. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Got it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Oops, breathe. Everybody breathe. Ah, I'm so sorry. I got distracted and I forgot about you. <laughs> uh. Maybe that's what Mary and Martha thought about Jesus, too. That he didn't care. That he got busy, forgot about them, or didn't even notice that Lazarus was dying. So, while Mary and Martha were waiting for Jesus to come help, Lazarus died and was buried. How angry Mary and Martha they must have felt how hurt that their friend didn't come through for them. Friends, make a tight fist like this. Even tighter if you can. Hold that fist really tight and think about how angry you get when people are mean to you or how angry you are when you feel stuck or forgotten or ignored. Think about what you shared earlier when I ask what made you angry. Now, as you keep squeezing your fists together, if you have fingernails that are kind of long, you're going to feel those fingernails kind of dig into your palms. And you're going to feel how tight and tense your arms are starting to hurt, isn't it? Ugh! Keep holding it. Now, if your nails are long, you might it might be a good idea to loosen just a little bit, but friends, keep these fists as tight as you can. I'll head back to the story. So Mary and Martha, finally, Jesus showed up and they were angry with him. They ask why he had waited so long. But Jesus, he didn't disappoint. Jesus went to where Lazarus was buried and had some men 
roll away the stone in front of his tomb. Jesus called out to Lazarus to rise from the dead, and that is what Lazarus did. That's power and that is hope. The Bible says that Jesus wasn't late. He had waited on purpose because he wanted to do something even more amazing than just heal a sick Lazarus. He wanted to raise someone from the dead. Now, when Mary and Martha saw that Jesus' power brings hope, even when it seems like it's too late, well, they let go of their anger and found hope instead. So, relax your fists and let your hands slowly open. <sighs> that feels good. And that's how it feels, friends, when you let go of your anger. When you look for joy and hope in every situation. When you let God lift your spirits, no matter what you're facing. I don't know. Um, maybe, maybe you know someone who's sick with COVID-19. Maybe they've gotten better. Maybe they haven't. Maybe you've prayed that you can get back to living like you had before the virus swept through the world. Maybe you're angry because you had a baseball tournament or a birthday party or a school year that got canceled because of coronavirus. And maybe, friends, you're wondering, where is Jesus? Maybe you're a little angry because it feels like he's too late to help you. Remember this, Jesus wasn't late for Lazarus and he's not late answering your prayers either. Jesus, he had a better plan when his friend Lazarus was ill. Jesus was in charge. And friends, he is still in charge. Jesus still has a plan. And Jesus' power brings hope. Now, Mary and Martha, they got angry. Mm -hmm. But Jesus, he didn't walk away from them because of their anger. Instead, he drew close and gave them hope. And he'll give you hope too. And along with that hope, peace, even in these coronavirus times. Now, I have some questions for you and your family to talk about now. Are you ready? <laughs> I said, are you ready? All right, here are the questions. Here's the first one. How did holding a fist remind you of how it feels to hold on to anger? And two, how can you as a family let go of anger and find more of the hope that Jesus offers? I'll put those questions up for you to talk about now. I found that thankfulness helps anger. And remembering what Jesus has done for me in the past gives me hope that he'll keep coming through for me now and in the future too. So let's take a few moments to see what happens when we focus on Jesus' hope. Now, do you see this picture? It doesn't really look like much, does it? There are one, two, three, four dots in the middle and huh, it just so happens that there are four letters in the word hope, H-O-P-E. So focus on the four dots in the middle until I take the image down. Oh, really, stare at those dots and try not to blink as little as possible anyway. 
We'll keep looking at the picture for 30 seconds and I will tell you when to stop. Are you ready? Set, look. Twenty-five more seconds. Keep looking. Ten more seconds. Look. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now quick, look at a blank wall. What do you see? Keep looking at the wall. It might take a few seconds, but do you see him? Do you see Jesus? When we took the time to focus on the four dots, which remind us of the four letters in the word hope, we could see Jesus, <laughs> or at least what he might have looked like. When we take the time to look for him, friends, we'll see Jesus all around us. Jesus' power brings hope. And when we focus on the hope that Jesus can do something even greater than it seems like, we'll see him at work. He's never too late. Now, I have a request for you. Would you take a few minutes and each share what you're hoping for? What is it that you hope will happen soon? Tell each other in your family, and then, after you tell your hope, pray for what each person said. So share your hope and then pray together about these hopeful prayer requests. Friends, Jesus cares about our hopes and we can always talk with him about it. So go ahead, pause me while you do that. Let's pray and I'll wait for you. Amen. We have been keeping thankfulness journals. And doo -doo -doo -doo, it's time to draw another picture. So this time, let's draw things that you are hoping God would do for you. And maybe draw a picture too of the things that he has already done. For instance, <laughs> Maybe you'd hope that you'd be able to find some rolls of toilet paper, and you did! <laughs> or maybe you'd hoped that you would have enough food during a time when you just couldn't go out and buy more. And you're okay. Friends, focusing on how God's hope has come through for you will remind all of us that Jesus' power brings hope. Now, I'm signing off, but when this video ends, you can draw a couple of things that you've hoped for and what you're thankful for. Don't forget to put today's date on your paper. And friends, don't forget to look for God at work in your life and in our world this week. Jesus is with you, and I will see you again next time.